Hi again, uh, it's Pete from Record. Um, just going to do a short clip here on the use of our whetstone grinder, the WG250. Um, just to add on to the previous uh, videos we've just done on, on this machine. But this time, it's, um, I'm just going to sharpen, quickly sharpen a rougher up. But use also the profile honing wheel. We've used the standard honing wheel. Um, this one I'm just going to clean the rest of the tool up with the flat one and I say the profile one. So just going back to setting this up. We're using it on this side of the wheel this time rather than the other side. So I've got the machine uh, the opposite way around with the controls on this side. Um, and using the, the, the jig support arm here which then I can transfer over uh, to use for the honing. So first of all I'm just going to mark this up. Standard little thing what we do just put a black felt pen, put it around the profile of your tool lining up as best as you can by eye first off Turn, turn it with your honing wheel. A little bit out. Yeah, that's better. So, I don't know if you can see the camera auto focuses it in so you can just see just a little bit of a witness mark on there so I've basically got my full profile on there so pinch those down. I've already dressed the wheel but what I want to do is, is just do the sides edge up again. A little bit sharp after I've just dressed the top again. And I've put a, a coarse finish on there. So just did the scraper up just to know a coarse finish across the top. Occasionally what you want to do is keep that wheel fresh. Again I want to Get a decent speed going without splashing the water everywhere. So, as we did before, try and use as much as the wheel, don't concentrate in one area, move it all around over the wheel. And because you're working up against this edge, and this is all locked up. Try and maintain a decent contact with that uh, and get that in as square as you can, possibly can off, off, off the little jiggers and short tools. And quickly we're seeing that edge is cleaning up. So it doesn't take a lot. But we got it up on this one I've got quite a decent edge on there. Albeit I've done it on the 8-inch grinder, rolled up a little bit there, should concentrate a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit faster. Try and keep this little jig tool as square as you can to the, to uh, to the actual tool itself when you put it in. And it give you 
a nice parallel sort of bevel finish. And it's, with anything, you get better with these the more you do it, so the more you practice, the better it, your skills get with it. Just gently and easy at first, though. And this is a good one to practice on um, first up. Okay, you're going to use the, the rubber tool quite a bit, and this is probably um, a nice finish on there for just, just for a basic rubber tool. It all depends on what sort of timber you're working on. Again, I need to concentrate more on the grind. Try and keep it all square on there. But we're getting there. We're getting a finish on the tool. And I say this has been grown before on the, on a bench grinder. If you go onto our website as well on the Record Power website, what we've got on there is all, all of our new tools, all the UK made tools, and we're doing demonstrations how to do each tool, and the tools are marked up as well um, to identify the tool for the grind necessary for it. So if you just go on the Record Power standard website, you'll find that on there. Right, so that's 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 pretty good. So what I can do now is switch this off, move this over here. This is going to be slightly different because of the size of the wheels, but what I can do, I can get it back in again. line that up again the same I want to just get the profile wheel into view as well right so like I say I can mark this up on here but the wheels are slightly different sizes Turn this down first. Put this on. Two ways of doing this. You can do it with your fingers if we've done before, but because I've got the profile in there, what I'm going to do first off, I've got a clean bit of cloth. Not that really it matches too much. It is not going to catch, it's just a bit of tissue. Soak a little bit into there. Put that onto there. Again, this is mineral oil, not a machine oil, uh, because it will affect the, the, the glue that bonds the, uh, the leather onto the, um, onto the steel wheel there. a bit of a break on there. And there for the mucky stuff. Nice little dog for that on there. And just be careful with this. It's, it's, it's leather but you're not going to really pick up anything. It's just what you've used on there before. So like this, this is all locked up, so I can do this one quite easy on there. Again, I can stick the speed up on this. If you want to now, what you could do is drop the water tray off, turn your speed right up, because we're, we're finished with the, um, the sharpening process. So, 
so we're just avoiding splashing everywhere. Very quickly I'm giving a nice smooth finish there. So what I want to look at now is just the inside. Get rid of that phrase on there. Back onto here. Some piece of hardwood if you if you're doing that, or clean most of this out anyway when you do your when you start your roofing fix. So it was like I say. On this one, we're working off there anyway. We're, on this one, I'm working freehand on here, but I don't want to be, I want to bring it over the top, so I'm going past the center line and then just coming forward a little bit. That's all done. So that's it, it's just a quick one. So I've cleaned all of that flute out and I've got a nice polished edge on the back of there. So it is only a roughing tool but it just shows you what you can do on the machine. So hopefully that's a little bit of use to you. So we've done a couple of tools on there, done a little bit of maintenance. So I look forward to seeing you again shortly. So bye for now. Cheers.